So it is now 2020 and I received my FS100 in 2013. In the lifespan of technology, that is a long time. So this video is really special because I'm gonna tell you three more reasons why I still use my Sony FS100. All right, so if you've never seen the original video, click this link up above, it'll take you to it. You can check that out, and then you can come back to this one and resume, give you like, you know, a prequel, unless you just wanna watch this one now, and then maybe if you like it, then you go back. But yeah, number one, the build of this camera. This is gonna get you accustomed to using those heavier cameras, especially if you rigged it out. My setup was probably about 15 pounds. I was on a film set where the A camera was an Ari Alexa, and that build with just the freaking 15 millimeter rods and the follow focus system, that joint was about 30 pounds. You wanna start using these larger cameras eventually. If, if you really grind hard and you dedicate and you get to that next level, at some point in time, you're gonna start shooting on a red, you're gonna start shooting on, the black magics are pretty small, but you know, maybe you're gonna get a, the, the mini Ursa or something. So it's gonna be a bigger camera, you need to get used to it. I paired my FS100 with a Sony A6300. So another reason why I still use this camera is because I can completely match my color profiles. I mean, they are, they are that close. I can build similar picture profiles inside of both cameras, which is a plus. I can record 10-bit full HD using the Shogun, the Atomus Shogun. I think it's the Shogun. I know previously I said I wanted to try to hook it up to see if it would actually record 4K if I use one of the 4K recorders. Um, it will not, but that is okay because my A6300 is 4K. So if I need to shoot in 4K, I can do so. Um, I've done it on several shoots. I've shot at least four music videos now and I've combined these two cameras. You can tell what videos I've shot on both cameras. If you can tell the difference between the shots, please let me know. Drop that down in the comments. I don't think you can. My clients were extremely happy with it. That's really all that matters. So, and then another reason why I love this camera, and now I'm just being like petty trail right now, is because is there a DSLR or a mirrorless camera that has one of these? That's right, I got a remote control for this bad boy. I'm just a big fan of Sony, man. Y'all call it what you want. You know, it's like Nike and Reebok and Adidas. It's all about your style. It's all about preference. It's all about what you're comfortable with. I've grown comfortable with Sony. So, what's your opinion? What camera are you shooting on? And I've shot on several Sony models. I've used the A63, A64, A7R2, A73, FS100 on the same film set where they used the RA Alexa Mini, the B cam was a Sony FX7. So, just a big fan of Sony, man. That's, that's my brand. What's yours? Let me know. Drop it down in the comments. Love to hear your thoughts. I love reading the comments. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Hope you found it entertaining. As always, the grind defines your work ethic. So if you continue to grind hard, then you will meet expectation every single time. I'm not even saluting today. I'm turning it off with my remote because I was just being petty trail. So holla back. Catch y'all on the next video.